Hello, Burberry Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Adio Burberry Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. And girl, it is time to talk about more from Burberry Hills, but this time, this is some tea tea, okay? This is part of, you know, those little pieces of information that I receive when I talk to certain people here and there, and they are juicy and amazing, you know, and I'm like, oh, okay, now things are making more sense than ever, right? And apparently, this one is going to be about how Lisa Rena yep actually doesn't really like kyle richards all right and how she manipulated garcelle voive and denise richards to go against kyle constantly and how the fox for force alliance actually works so put your seat belts because this one is going to be an intense one all right but before we get into it do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to support my channel now you can do it through the thank bottom right here and let's talk about this mess hey yo meal no my friend let go me my sister i am is not here right now. Erica, I don't have to make you look bad. You can do that on your own. Better? It's bitch better? I'm shaking. I'm physically shaking. So, I mean, look, I think it's not a surprise when we realize as viewers that many of these women are actually no friends. You know, they are friendly to each other. They are able to have a good time where they are together sometimes. But friends, friends... You know, it's like maybe here, maybe there, you know, maybe some create some friendship while they're filming, but it's never like they are BFF, you know, like they know since they were kids or they are like are sisters or, you know, like those kind of relationships, we almost never see them. So it is not a surprise. Like I have never, even when they say like, oh, we know each other like 10 years ago and 20 years ago, it's like, okay, but have you been really friends? Are you like family status or are you just knowing this person socially for the past 10 years, which is very valid. You know how many people do you know that you only see at parties, for example, you know what I mean? So, but they really usually try to put it out there like, oh my God, we are together forever. We love each other. Well, apparently, you know, in this case, it's all about Lisa Rena really not having any respect for Kyle Richards. Um, am I surprised? I mean, not really. I feel that if you really look at the behavior between the two girls, I mean, how many times have we seen Kyle Richards actually do things with Lisa Rena off camera? You know, it almost never happened. You know, it, like we have seen some things here and there, but like, well, I don't think that Portia is calling uh, Lisa Rena Auntie Lisa. You know what I mean? So I, I was definitely not surprised by that, but it definitely involved a, a bunch of things. So let's start because this one is long. It says season seven was supposed to be a Lisa Rena takedown season. And Kyle wanted revenge because she revealed the role she played in Manshausen Gate. For the entire season, Kyle Lisa Vanderpump and Dorit Kemsley went after Lisa Rena, which is why she formed the alliance with Erica, who also didn't trust Lisa Vanderpump and Dorit Kemsley because of Pantygate. From that moment, Lisa realized that she could preserve her power on the show by inviting her already famous friends on and use them as an allies in case the girls turn on her again. When Poppy Gate happened, she saw her chance to get back at Lisa Vanderpump for trying to take her down, which is where the Fox, Fox 445 sorry, alliance was formed with Lisa Rena as its leader, right? 
She doesn't trust Kyle Richards because she saw what she did to Catherine Edwards. If you don't know what I'm talking about, that's another exclusive that I put for you guys yesterday. So go to my Real Housewife of Beverly Hills T playlist. It should be right there, okay? So uh, for what she did to Catherine Edwards, and funnily enough, Lisa Rena doesn't respect Kyle Richards because she allows her to go after her sisters. Yep, you hear that right. Like Kyle gave Lisa Rena a free pass to try to go and take down Kim Richards and Kathy Hilton constantly. However, the alliance between them is powerful, so she uses it to her advantage. Now, do you remember Garcelle's first season? Do you remember when Garcelle and Denise were bitching about Kyle on the way back from Erica's house on the car? You remember that, guys? Lisa will talk all kind of trash about Kyle Richards to them off camera and give them sub stories about how bad Kyle had been to her in season seven. Garcelle and Denise thought they were stepping in to protect their friend by forming a new alliance, which is why Denise will always snap at Kyle and why Garcelle shaded, shaded randomly her when she accepted her LA Mission Award. So, what went wrong? with Lisa's plan to invite her famous friends on the show? Well, they always outperform and earn more money than her by the time contract negotiations begin for their second season. Sutton Strack, Denise Richards, and Garcelle Boybe are all fan favorites and are difficult to control because they don't follow the Fox Force storyline narrative, which makes it hard for them to lie. They also command more power with the network as their high profiles make it easier to sell the show in foreign markets. Sutton Strack and Garcelle Boive saw how they used Eden, Target Catherine, and Bully Denise Richards, so have worked out that they are safer sticking together and are not interested in inter integrating with Lisa Rena or the Fox 4 Force. Which Girl, you are doing the right thing because if rumors are going to be all right, soon the Fox 4 Force is going to be the Fox 2 4, and that's going to disappear forever. Okay, it makes a lot of sense. I mean, it is again, it is not a secret that Lisa Rena has been going around manipulating people to make her make them believe whatever she wants them to believe, you know, but now we're talking about it. And I think it's very interesting that I'm being reaching out, you know, from these sources who let's say that they are very close to production, you know, so and then putting all this information out there. It is surprising? No, it is not surprising. It is not shocking because we already know who Lisa Rena is. But tell me that, that this helps to a lot of things to make more sense, right? Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below about this whole exclusive tea. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya! Bye.